Hi, this is Adam Renner from LifeSore Vacuum Solutions. I'm calling to see if Mr. Vernunsky is still satisfied with his purchase. Oh, how nice. But I'm afraid Mr. Vernunsky doesn't live here anymore. I see. Do you happen to have his new number? Sure do. You can find him at 555-4325. Alrighty. Thank you, ma'am. No problem. Have a nice day. Happy people bug me. Greenwood Acre Cemetery. I'll go check on him. Did I deserve this promotion? <laughs> of course I did. Am I the best agent LifeSore ever had? Definitely. I am the James Bond of customer service agents. And Jack Ryan. And Jack Bauer. And Superman. That's right, I'm a super agent. But when corporate offered me the position, I, I had to turn them down. Big decisions. I'm not good at that. I'm a people person. I like people and they like me. Well, at least to my face. But the face is the most important part of the body, so I'd say that's a good thing. Everyone's in the conference room waiting, including Jonathan. Uh, all right, uh, thank you. Uh, Mervin. Mervin, all right, uh, lead the way. All right, just like this, okay. Uh, I wasn't even sure I wanted this job. But uh, on my third call, I made a sale to a brand new Creekview Suites hotel. So just like that, 120 orders in one call. Jonathan called it the Wonder Sale. So then they uh, promoted me to manager. Or, uh, excuse me, motivational coach. All right, life sword peeps, who's ready to meet our new motivational coach, Bill Morton? All right, well, hi, everyone. I'm Bill. Uh, Bill. Hello, Jonathan. Thank you. Uh, I can't tell you how excited I am to be a part of the life sword graveyard shift. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, the wise Bill Murray once said, uh, there is no tomorrow. It's only today. Uh, I was Groundhog Day. Um, and I'm just happy to be a part of a cohesive team. And uh, there's no I in team. And all so. Right, all right, I think we've heard enough. Everybody, give it up for Bill Morton. Thank you. 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 Oh, that's wonderful. That's great. Thank you very much. Yeah. But I, I appreciate it. This is wonderful, all y'all. And I, I'm just glad that each one of you is here. So this is good. Switching to graveyard shift might prove to be a little interesting. I've already had to up my caffeine intake preparing for tonight. But it's not the first time I've had to work through the night. I've spent many nights back in high school mopping floors down at the quick trip station. Come a long way since then. You know, customer service isn't really my thing. Then again, sales wasn't either. And here we are. 
It's funny how life can throw those curveballs at you. You never know how making a sales call can lead you on the path to upper management. So, uh, I guess I'm a natural? I work for a company called LifeSore Vacuum Solutions, where we sell and provide customer service on several lines of vacuum cleaners. And our motto is, life sucks, but your vacuum should suck more. It was only supposed to be temporary while I got my degree with Boise State Online. But four and a half years later and still working on that degree. And you know what? Life does suck. And this is your new office. All right, not bad. Well, uh, thank you for the intro you gave me out there, Jonathan. No problem. Look, I just came by to make sure that you had everything you needed for me before I head out. Uh, sure do. Uh, we're good to go. All right, great. Oh, there is one thing. Uh, I was looking at our uh, company website, and I noticed that uh, you haven't taken my job listing down yet. Is there a is there a reason for that, or have you just uh, not gotten around to it yet? I've left the job listing up on purpose. I just feel like I need to cover all of my bases. So are you saying that you don't think I can handle the job? I feel like you're a sparkler. <laughs> That's a little presumptuous, don't you think? Uh, is it because I like musicals, or I prefer uh, tea instead of coffee? What? No, no, no. A sparkler. Once you light them, they sparkle. They mesmerize. They entertain. For like a minute. Then they burn out. I just want to have a bucket of sand ready in case that happens. Glad to know you have so much confidence in me. So you think I'm going to fail. I think you got lucky. I'm just not sure that that proves that you have what it takes to handle this shift. But I hope you prove me wrong. Not more than I. Never going to get dust bunnies with an attitude like that. Oh yes. Here at LifeSore we have a promotional program where at the end of each call we take we're rated by the customer and the person with the highest ratings at the end of each month gets a dust bunny award along with a $20 gift card to IHOP. I couldn't care less about dust bunnies. Hard to get them when having other things in your life fills your schedule, Mervyn. Sounds to me like someone who cries themselves to sleep at night and sucks at their job. That may be true, but wouldn't sucking be a good thing at this company? Hmm. Mr. Jones and me sing each other fairy tales. Sup, dudes? How about Bill's promotion, huh? That's pretty crazy. That's almost as weird as that one episode of Sabrina, where she discovers her inborn addiction to pancakes. Then there's a lady dressed as a giant syrup dispenser, Mrs. Mapleton. You remember that episode, right, Adam? I don't think anyone's seen that in 20 years, Jeremy. In fact, I'm not even sure you were born, were you? Of course I was. I was three. That doesn't mean you still can't enjoy the classics. Jenny! Jen! Jennifer! <coughs> Jenny. Hi Jeremy, how are you? Are you doing any better since Madison left? <laughs> Madison? Hardly think of her anymore. So my girlfriend broke up with me last week. Jenny was all concerned because she thought I was crying. But I wasn't crying. I was just... weeping. But it'll take more than that to get me down. I mean, I'm Jeremy Fisher. The Fishmeister. The Fisherman. The Fishinator, sent back in time to kill Sarah Connor. I miss Madison. Jenny Waterman, I represent human resources for this shift. I've actually only worked here for a couple of weeks, 
but I'd say it's a good thing I've taken a few classes in psychology. This group is a mess. I've had deep emotional conversations with almost every person on this shift. At least, almost all the guys. Just my luck. Late on the first day of the new boss. I'm gonna have to suck up. Well, if I'm gonna prove Jonathan Sutton wrong and learn how to do this job, I need to uh, get in there and meet the troops. All right, so uh, this here is our receptionist. Um, Brecklin. Brecklin. Uh, so you seem a bit young to be working here. Yeah, I get that a lot. But I'm an intern, and I'm 18, and I'm a senior. This job's like super easy. It's also like super boring. But I don't mind it, because that one guy, he's kind of cute. His name's Adam, or whatever. My friend Taya is so jealous. Plus, I'm kind of a natural at this job. So I can talk on the phone all day if I need to. Like this one time, me and Taya talk. <laughs> That's so random. It's from Taya. She's so stupid. I love her. Should I tell you a secret? I'm really 16. I only applied for this internship because Taya dared me to. Now she's so jealous of my life right now. I love it. Welcome to Labsor, Brecklin. Thanks. All right then, let's find another uh, valuable employee. Uh, this here's our HR, and uh, well, no, uh, she's not in there. So, uh, how's it going, bud? Okay, I guess. I'm Bill. What might your name be? Dennis Cobb. Cobb, that's an interesting name, like, like Corn Cobb. Yeah, that was, that was my nickname in high school. I hated it. All right, uh, no Corn Cobb. Gotcha. So, uh, how's your job going? living the dream. This is not my dream. Actually, my dream has always been to move to California and become a dolphin trainer at SeaWorld. All right, well, uh, keep up the good work. You should know I have the lowest rating in customer service. Uh, well, uh, hang in there, champ. Um, uh, every dog will have his day. Hi, I'd like to personally introduce myself. I'm Bill. Kayla, is Bill your real name? Yes, well, William. Uh, why? Okay, great. Would it be okay if I called you William? Um, well, I, I guess that would be fine. I'm sorry, it's just that we had someone who worked here named Bill and he behaved very inappropriately. My name is Kayla Robain, and I recently graduated from Boise State University where I majored in art history. It turns out there aren't a whole lot of job opportunities in Appaloosa, Idaho for someone with an art history degree, but I'll just be patient. Something's bound to open up. What? Oh, the bill guy? Yeah. He worked here a couple of months ago. And let's just say he wasn't interested in my mind. He was killed in a freak farming accident. I know, right? I mean, I realize this is Idaho and we have a lot of farms, but still, Bill was anything but a farmer. Weird, huh? Uh, all right then, uh, William it is. Great, it was nice to meet you. Uh, same to you, oh, jeez. I did not see you there, Ed. This is Ed. Uh, I didn't catch your last name. I know. All right, well, uh, Ed's our night janitor. Um, but seeing as how this whole building's kind of the graveyard shift, uh, I guess he's just considered the janitor. Superintendent of custodial services. <laughs> oh, you're funny, too. Um, uh, that, that's a nice mock you got there. This is a seal. Oh look, you've named your mop. Doesn't everybody? Um, sure. 
Uh, Ed's worked here since. Nice try. I swear he never goes home. I actually haven't been employed here for weeks, but they'll never get rid of me. You see, I'm like the Phantom. In the call center, it's my opera. And Lucille here is my Christine. Blast! I should have named the mop Christine. Uh, now here are the real stars of the Graveyard Shift, uh, Adam Renner and Mervyn McNelly. So uh, how are my salesmen doing this evening? We're customer service, Bill. <laughs> sales. Hey, sales is kind of the breadwinner of this company family. Customer service is more like the stay-at-home dad. And out of all the salesmen, who do you think made the wonder sale? Yeah, that's what I thought. In the line of evolution, it goes customer service, human resources, the secretaries, the interns, IRS agents, insects, troglodytes, single-celled organisms, <laughs> Adam, and then sales agents. Thank you for calling Life Store Customer Service. My name is Mervyn. How may I help you? I have no idea how making a wonder sale qualifies me to be in charge of the customer service graveyard shift. But I did think I learned one thing about being a manager, or coach. Uh, sometimes you don't necessarily need to do anything. You just need to be there, you know? And, and you need to seem like a strong person. And I think the key to seeming like a strong person is to never let them see you bleed. Well, that's metaphorically speaking, of course. If you're actually bleeding, you should seek medical attention immediately. Which is another thing I learned. Suck it, Jonathan. I'm gonna be all right. Which I just realized that this company is not really an insult.